Hey, what's going on guys? This video this evening is going to be about how to unlock your iPhone. And I have an iPhone 5 I'm going to be unlocking. And I'm just going to walk you through the process. And this video is for 2014. I made a video from last year, but I wanted to unlock uh, my device, my iPhone 5, this year. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the process and show you anything that AT&T has done differently. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come up here to www.attnt.com backslash device unlock. Right there. I'll have it in the description box as well, guys. You're going to come to this page right here. You want to read through this fully because what's going to happen is that if you don't apply to these rules, then you cannot unlock your device. And also, you want to make sure that you're up to date with your payment with AT&T I was denied, I believe, two different times because I was a couple days late paying my payment. They want to make sure that you've paid your payment and uh, everything is good. All right, so if you, uh, these requirements here, general eligibility, if you require all these things, you're good to go. Then what you've got to do is you've got to go ahead and drop down here. You click, I have read and agreed to the eligibility requirements, and then you come over here to agree. And then I'm not going to type this in because I've already done it, but you go current customer previous or go phone, etc., your wireless number, your IMEI number on your iPhone, which is located in your settings general, uh, your first and last name, e email address, uh, last four, your social, your AT&T passcode if you've created it, active military, etc. And you'll go ahead and submit that. And what happens is they'll give you a confirmation email stating that we've received your code and we're processing. Now guys, it took about seven business days um, or about a week before I got an email back. It takes quite a bit of time because they have to send it over to Apple and then Apple sends it back, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, or they're just backlogged, I don't know. But it took seven days before I got my email. So once you do get that email from AT&T, um, you'll go ahead and it will say directions how to unlock your phone from there. And it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And let me go ahead and show you what those uh, directions are. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have the up-to-date iTunes. So what you do is AT&T is telling you to open up iTunes, and you'll go ahead and download the latest iTunes, and you'll open it up. And I've scrolled down my information's up top, you know, iPhone 5, my phone number, etc. But I'm just covering that up for security. And so what you want to do now is you want to click back up now. Now, what you're going to do is AT&T has asked you to go ahead and plug it in um, to, your, to your computer via um, the lightning cable or USB cable, whatever you have. And then again, open up iTunes. And then you want to make sure the proper SIM card that you requested the unlock is actually in your phone so if you've switched with a friend etc switch it back make sure your regular sim card is in there and then you're gonna push back up now because you want to back up your whole entire phone to your iTunes folder once your phone is backed up then you're gonna restore from backup that you just did and then it will say congratulations you're unlocked so let me go ahead and back up now and so we're backing up my phone and of course this is going to take quite a while because it's a 32 gig iPhone 5 so I'll be right back with you and then I'll show you the uh, last portion when I uh, do restore from backup and then it'll say congratulations your iPhone is unlocked so I'll be right back with you guys. Guys we're still backing up of course I do have a lot of video and photos as you can see down here I have a 19.3 gigs of video and photos so it takes definitely definitely a while um, I'm probably about 20 minutes into this backup already alright guys now you're gonna see that your last backup and they'll have uh, the date and time right here and what I do uh, I do a little bit of extra security just in case before I uh, restore my phone back to uh, factory settings is I have a lot of important videos and again some you know very important things on there um, that I film so what I did is I uh, just backed it up and I copied it into a separate folder on my computer just in case something goes wrong with the restoration of the iPhone. 
Now I'm covering up my information here. This is my phone number and stuff like that. So if I scrolled up, you would see my phone number and serial number on my iPhone. I don't want to show you that. I want to keep that secret. So um, now what you do is after you've backed up your phone, you come up right up here to restore iPhone. And I want to keep my iOS 6 still. I haven't upgraded to 7. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and left click restore iPhone and it's right here you can barely see it I'm sorry guys but it's right above this area it says update and restore iPhone you're gonna left click restore iPhone right there and then it's gonna say are you sure you want to restore the iPhone uh, triple crown transport to its factory settings all your media blah 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 restore and update something though guys that is very important is that I want to keep my iOS 6 so by doing it this way, you will have to update to iOS 7 because it says right here, after this process is complete, you will have the option to restore your contacts, calendars, text messages, and other settings. But it will say here, all of your media and other data will be erased and the newest version of the iPhone software will be installed. So that is iOS 7. So if you guys are okay with that, left click that, restore and update and then back it up from your uh, previous one you just uh, backed it up from. Or if you guys want to make it really easy on yourself, go to your settings menu in your iPhone, go to general, and go ahead and go all the way down to reset, and then push re uh, erase all content and settings, and then this will delete all media and data and reset all settings, and you just push erase iPhone, and then it says, are you sure you want to continue? All media, data, and settings will be erased. This cannot be undone. You push erase iPhone, and then it's just going to go ahead and erase everything. But don't worry about it. Your iOS settings will still be there, and then just restore from backup. That's the easiest way, or you can do it manually if you want. That's the hard way. So Apple wants you to update to their newest software, obviously, because they want to stay in tune with your phone. They want to kind of have control over that, guys. So... I wiped my phone completely, I plugged it black, uh, back in, and this is what it says. Um, and it really wants you to download an update to the newest iOS software, but I don't want that. I want to keep my 6. So again, I'm going to hit cancel here. Congratulations, your iPhone has been unlocked. Wonderful. And so right there, guys, is, um, you know, that just proves that uh, Apple has communicated with AT&T. And it is unlocked. Now, this is factory unlocked, guys. So, once again, once you have that confirmation email from AT&T, then it says wait 24 hours, and then this whole video begins, guys. And so, to click set up and sync this iPhone, click continue. Again, it's going to ask me if I want to download an update because it knows I'm still on iOS 6. So, I'm going to hit cancel again. And now I'm going to either set it up as a new iPhone, but no, I want to restore it from the backup right there, last backed up today at 1.23 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And now we're restoring the iPhone. Now this is going to take a while because I had about, well, it was a 32 gig phone. I had about 28 gigs of, uh, I mean, I was pretty much to the brim. So this is going to take a while. But uh, right there, guys, proves that this is now 2014. Look at my clock right here. Uh, actually, I don't think you can see it. Now you can see it. Saturday, February 1st, 2014. This is how it does it. This is how it works. So this time is going to go up a little bit. And so, guys, if you do not want to keep iOS 6 and you wanted to jump up to 7 or you're already on 7, then don't worry about it. Skip that last step of uh, erasing your phone. Uh, going to, again, settings, general, um, reset, erase all content, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, again, this is going to take quite a while. I'm going to sit back and relax. And so this is what your phone is going to say here for the whole entire duration of the restoring of the iPhone. Back to your previous settings. Now, again, the time is going to uh, be depending upon how much data and how much video you had. If you have an 8 gig, 16 gig, probably pretty quick, but 32 gig, 64 gig, is going to take a while because they have to put all your videos, all your apps back on your phone. So this is going to sit here like this and it says right now I have one hour. So this is going to take a while. So uh, make sure you have time before you do this because if you're trying to do this before work, you can't just snatch this off the cradle um, and head on to work, guys. This is going to sit here like this and just sync up. And now it's sitting at 52 minutes now. So it ranges, goes back and forth. 
and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, just leave them in the comment box. Myself or others will comment and let you guys know what's up, anything going on. And you guys have a great day. Thumbs the video up to help you guys. And um, make sure you play, pay your bill and so that you can get it unlocked. You guys take care. And guys, what I did is the easiest thing to get all your apps back on there if they weren't already put on there. Uh, for some reason, mine weren't, but I disconnected from the charger, um, connected it back on. And iTunes, of course, picked back up my phone, and now it's syncing my apps automatically, all my apps that were on there. So I already had my video, already had my music, all that stuff on there, my notes, my voice memos. But now I'm getting my apps back on there instead of having to go into the actual apps thing and, like, click and drag all of them back on there, you know. So this is doing a lot of cool stuff right here. So it's putting 43 apps back on there. It's taken a little bit of time, but they're all going back on there, guys. So, very cool. <music>